Hello, my name's Debbie O'Connor and we've come into November and that means that Christmas season has officially started. And for me, that means just one thing, the start of the annual Christmas card writing marathon, which is something that I must admit I dread. I look forward to getting it over with and then I can actually start being happy about Christmas. I hate writing my family's names over and over and over again on the cards and I hate standing in the queue to get the stamps put on them and sent them off. So today I'm going to show you a way, if you hate Christmas card writing as much as I do, that you can actually wish your family a happy Christmas with greetings cards without having to do all that boring writing. It's called We All Send Cards and here it is. Oh, not that page. There we go. We all send cards. We all send cards .com. You might have a link that somebody has given you when, um, when you see this video, in which case click on that link instead because it will help that person. So I'm going to show you how you can personalize Christmas cards in two ways. The first one is going to be to send directly to the person of your choice. And the second one is going to be where you part personalize it so you haven't got to do quite so much writing. And then you get the card sent to yourself and you finish it off and send it your way. So this first one is going to be fully personalized and sent to somebody. So I'm going to look for Christmas occasion and press go. You get lots and lots of different Christmas cards. Let's have a quick look down through the selection. And uh, I quite like that one with a partridge and a pear tree. Yep, yeah, that's quite nice. So I'm going to add it to the basket. Then I go up to the basket, which is called cart up here. Same thing. There's the card that I want to personalize. And so I press personalize. So we can see the front of the card. And the inside has got a left hand side and a right hand side. Start off with the left hand side. Now I, look, I like to put family photos in there so that people can see what we've been up to this year. So I go over to this left hand side and I put add. Now I've already uploaded some images. If you haven't already uploaded images then you go to upload an image and you can upload, you can choose what image to upload. So there's a um, nice one of me and my husband upload that. And there it is. And then you've got the choice. You can change the size of it. You can delete it. On then that one, you can just turn it around a bit. I'm going to just, I like mine to go at a bit of a jaunty angle. So it looks like you've just kind of thrown a couple of photos in. There we go. There's me and my husband. And then I'm going to add another image there. This is one that I uploaded earlier. That's the whole family. I'm going to turn that around. Oh, not up as far as that. There we go, that way. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. And I'm going to put that down there, like that. Uh, am I happy with that? Maybe just a little bit different. Just play with it until you're happy and you've got it the way you want it. There we go, lovely. Once you've got it how you want it, then you can save the page. You can start to see it's starting to build up how you want it. Now, this one is going to be fully written, fully printed, and then I'm going to send it directly to the person. I'm going to go to the inside right. I'm going to start off with putting a proper greeting in as if it was a shop bought card. So I'm going to add some text. I'm going to make them black and I'm going to make it just in a reasonably normal font. And for Christmas cards, the greeting I like is quite traditional. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. But of course, you can you can say Happy Hanukkah, you can say Happy Holidays, you can wish somebody a Happy Yule, you can wish them a Happy Birthday on Christmas Day. You can do whatever you want with this. So I create it. The text is then in my library, and I can add that to the card. Now at this point, that just looks like a normal greetings card and if you wanted to you could stop there and you could have them printed and you could just leave it like that but this one I'm going to carry on writing so I'm going to add some more text now this time I am going to move to a script font and I'm going to change the color to blue as if I was writing it and I'm going to write a little bit for the top to 
Grandma, hope you have a lovely day. I won't be with her on Christmas Day, so there we go. And it's gone into my library. And there it is there. And I'll move that. That's actually too big. Oh. And there we go. And then I'm going to add some more text. This is the bit in Christmas card writing that I hate the absolute most because it's just writing the names over and over and over again. By the end of it, I never want to see these names anymore. I've only got two children. If you've got more than two children, this must be such a slog and I don't even know how people do it. And I'm going to put that left justified in blue in script. And there that is in my library. And I can just move it to wherever I want it to be. And it's back to this one because I want it a little tiny bit bigger. And there you go. That looks like a Christmas card that I have actually handwritten. Maybe I might make the Happy Merry Christmas a little bit bigger as well. There we go. I think that's lovely now. And so I'm happy. I'm going to save that. And just look. And we've got the, the front of it, some photos, and a nice written card. I'm happy with that. So now we go back to the basket. Now this is where I would put in here the delivery address. I would add a new address and put in the um, where it was I'm going to send it to. I'm not going to do that right now because you don't need to know where Grandma lives at the end of the day. Dispatch date, day, day, month, month, year, year. I'm recording this in November, but I don't actually want to send the Christmas cards until the 1st of December. So I would put the 1st of December in that. If I leave this date blank, it's going to go today. But anyway, I'm going to put the 1st of December in there. 01 12 2017. I'm going to press tab. And then this is the really important bit. Do I want an additional envelope? If you press extra envelope, it will come to you in cellophane. What I want is no extra envelope, which means it's going to be sent directly to the person I want. So that's the first of my cards. It's been completely personalised. It's been handwritten in total, and that's ready to go. So now I'm going to show you a second way of doing this. I'm going to go and look for another card. And so we will have another look by category. Except instead of choosing Christmas, I'm going to choose a, an, a, key, uh, um, a keyword. Because I remember there was a nice card with a snowflake on it that I wanted to have a look at. So let's just see if I can find that. Yep, there you go. That's my snowflake card. And again, I'm going to add it to the basket. And go to the cart and personalise it. Now this is going to go an awful lot quicker this time because everything is already in my um, library. So the inside left, I'm going to add the image with my husband. Put that one over there. Done. I'm going to add the image of the family. Put that one. A little bit smaller down there. Done. I'm going to add um, text from my library. Very oops, no, not not on this side. Save that. Going a bit too fast for my own good there. Inside right, I'm going to add from my library some text. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. There we go. And this time, I'm going to add the names, because that's the bit that I really cannot be bothered to write all the time. There we go. Now, I am going to leave this card just like that, with the name blank. And I'm going to get this sent to myself so that I can finish it off. But I don't have to do all of this writing at the bottom. So that's where I'm going to save it. 
I'm going to go back to the basket. I'm going to have it delivered to me. I'm going to have these delivered now. I'm going to select no extra on. I'm going to select. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm going to have it delivered. I'm doing the wrong card here. I'm going to have it delivered to me. I'm going to have it delivered now. I'm going to select extra envelope, which means the card will be sent cellophane wrapped like you buy in a shop. And I'm going to have. I'm going to have 10 of those. So you can now see I've got one card that's going to go directly to Grandma and it's going to go on the 1st of December. And it's got no extra envelopes so that's going to go directly to her. I've got 10 of this one that have got the photos in, that have got the names and addresses in, and those are going to be sent to me, cellophane wrapped, so that I can just finish them off and send them on. And that pretty much is all my Christmas cards sorted out. So there you have it.